Ready to go fast? Hey there people, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine and we are getting a special treat today. We're sea trialing a very unique boat, the Camus 34CT. Now this is a power cat and it might seem a little funny at first that a relatively new company like Camus, which builds mono holes, would start building a power cat. But once you ride on one, you will understand why a well-designed power cat just knocks those seas right down. You go over the waves smooth and comfy. Now what's really interesting is when you look at consumer surveys, the biggest complaint about power cats is that they look funny. That's the number one reason people say they don't like cats. Well, judging how beautiful a boat is, is a subjective thing. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is a beautiful boat. You can make that decision on your own. Now here's something people tend to love about power cats performance. We have a pair of Mercury 400 V10s on the transom of this boat. Hop right up on the plane. You got to remember this boat has twin steps in the two hulls. So it's not just a standard deep V hull form on either side. Running at 4200. We're running in the 30 mile an hour range while getting 1.7 miles to the gallon. That's pretty darn good. Bump it up to 4,500 RPM. Now we're doing in the mid 30s and we're still getting 1.6 miles to the gallon. Let's see what she does it wide open. I got 53, 54, 55. We're running out of room. They tell us it'll hit 57 and I don't doubt it one bit. Whatever you might think of the overall appearance of this boat, one thing is indisputable. Camus has done a fantastic job on the fit and finish. The detail work on this boat is gorgeous, period. Look at items like the powder coated pipework and they stack dimes on these welds. It is all awesome looking. Check out the flush mount rod holders. Look at the cushions, look at the diamond stitching. Everything you check out, the fit and finish, is there. Look at the low profile bow grab rail with blind fasteners. Look at the fold away seats up here in the bow. When you fold these down everything is perfectly flush. Look at the speaker and how it's mounted. Every hinge is recessed and flush. Everywhere you look on this boat the fit and finish just jumps out. Even this forward seat really grabs me. More on the design than on the fit and finish because this thing just hugs you. It's a double wide, you can ride up here in comfort. More importantly, once you get where you're going, this boat has the chops for some heavy duty fishing. We've got three flush mount rod holders on either side of this seat. And that's just the beginning. In the gunnels, we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 rod holders in the gunnels. And look at this. Four more flush mounts on the transom. Five more in the back of the leaning post. Oh, and look at this. Two, three, four, five rocket launchers. There's also a grand total of eight racks underneath the gunnels. Now, normally people, I say, these are no good for storing rods. The reels bang and slam into the fiberglass, but Camus takes note. They put these pads here so you can align your rods so that the reels are cushioned, they're not smacking against hard fiberglass. So, what's that in total? Now, for those of you who aren't real good at math, which includes me, I did have to count a couple times to be perfectly honest with you, that adds up to places for 49 rods. If that's not enough rods for you, I don't even know what to tell you. Now, of course, you also are going to be worried about tackle stowage. This boat, I mean, shoot, you're gonna be running this wherever the heck you want and fishing for whatever the heck you want. But I look at this boat and I see an awesome offshore machine. I think I need a drawer that I can put my knives into that has a rack. I want my bulk stowage drawer. I think I need a lot of tackle boxes. Over here in the side of the console, we've got spool holders on the door, three tackle boxes inside, 
plus another bolt stowage drawer. And that's on either side of the console. You say, that's still not enough tackle storage for you? Okay. The inside of the console head compartment is just full of tons of stowage. You've got six drawers in total. There's two more down there. You can pop down this compartment here. You've got shelves inside. That's pretty spectacular. If you've got more fishing tackle than you can fit on this boat, I don't know what to tell you. You say you also want to be able to haul a ton of live bait. There's a 70 gallon stock live well right here in the transom. And there are coolers on either side, which are optional live wells. All right, let's say it's been a long day fishing offshore. You need a frosty beverage. You want to get into the cooler that doubles as a seat hiding under the leaning post. You have to wrestle with one of those racks to get it to slide out. No, 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 no. Press the button. Here it comes. And holy cow, there's even a gas assist strut on the cooler lid. How's that for detail work? When you're done with that drink you got out of the cooler, you don't have to hunt for a waste basket. There's one right here on the side. And another awesome thing that Camus did for stowing on this boat relates to the washdowns. There's a fresh on one side, raw on the other. And they have this bar, this stainless bar, so you can pull off your hose, you can spray down the boat, and then put it back up on top of this bar, and it's always easily accessible and out of the way so you're not tripping over it. That's a pet peeve of mine on my boat. I hate when I trip over the washdown. So I love this arrangement. Now let's say that day of fishing has been incredibly successful. Well, you've got very deep fish boxes up in the bow, even bigger fish boxes amidships. These are very deep too. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could take a nap in this thing. Yep, no doubt about it. And if that's not enough for you, back here in the cockpit, we've got two more fish boxes. I'm not sure I could fit entirely in this one, but I can come pretty darn close. As far aft compartments are reserved for your five gallon bucket storage, two in each. Some other highlights I want to mention on this boat, you got room for two MFDs at the helm, you've got a full three-sided enclosure, and check out this hard top. Everything, speakers, lights, it is all integrated. One other big cat advantage a lot of folks don't really think about is the maneuverability is just incredible with the two motors spread so far apart. When you want to spin this boat around, it is a piece of cake. Earlier on, we talked about the smooth cat rise. You can't stand back here on many 34 footers like this and be this rock solid even as you're going through the waves. All I can say is you really need to take a boat like this for a sea trial to get a full understanding of the Camus 34 CT. Check it out, people. You won't regret it. Don't miss another cool fish talk video. Click below to subscribe. We want to say a special thank you to North Point Yacht Sales, and particularly to Connor, for taking us out on this Camus 34 CT. We are uh, your local Camus dealers for Virginia and Maryland, and we'd love to get you out on a boat. Give us a call.